3DS Max 2024 is finally here and with it a lot of new features. We have news in modeling, we have news in animation, news in materials, improvements in UI, improvements in performance, a new color management system, improvements in rendering and way more, so let's start. One of the biggest things in Max 2024 is the new Boolean modifier. Now you can apply this modifier to any 3D object and do unions, intersections, subtractions, splits, merge, attachments and inserts. Inside each operation you can do imprints or cookies that will not create new faces. We have two modes to use the boolean modifier. The default one will delete your selected object from the 3ds Max scene and will now be part of the boolean modifier itself. This is ideal if you will move your object around or clone it since everything is contained inside the boolean itself. The second mode is use live reference. The selected object will be just hidden from the viewport and moving your base object will not affect the boolean operand. This is ideal if you want to move your objects independently. It's possible to preview all compounds as shaded, wire or wire plus shaded and move each operand from the boolean modifier itself. Boolean modifier is not only a conversion from the old boolean compound into a modifier. A lot of work has been done to make it work in the most complicated possibilities, making it more robust than all the previous boolean solutions that we had in 3ds Max. Special effort has been done to do booleans from arrayed objects, so even with multiple intersections on your array objects, the boolean will still work. It also works with not closed polygons, making it an ideal tool to fragment geometry as you can see on this example. And we have for first time a VDV implementation workflow inside booleans. You can switch at any time from a mesh boolean to a VDB boolean. Ideal for complicated geometry or to get more organic results. The VDV boolean is not based on any mesh, so it will never fail. It's multi-threaded and as you can see can solve self-interpenetrations with ease. When you mix the VDV with retopology, you can create very clean results very very fast. By the way, Retopology has also been updated in 2024. In some cases where previously it was failing, now it will just work, and in other areas it will improve the quad topology in some situations. The VDB approach is really fast and as you can see here, can be very useful to do fast sketches. With some modifiers in top, you can get a very nice result in a very easy way. This new boolean modifier has a lot of neat tricks, nested booleans, folders to organize your boolean operands, you can export the boolean's intersections to splines, edge selections can be passed over the stack and way more. Check my Patreon for exclusive in-depth tutorials to this incredible modifier. Boolean modifier will bring a lot of new workflows into 3ds Max so I am super excited for it. And the array modifier has been also improved. Now it's receiving a new philotaxis distribution method to create natural distributions found often in natural environments like leaves on a plant or sunflower seeds. It has plenty of options to control a scale, position, phase and everything. And we have as well new material ID options. We can randomize IDs in different ways and you can phase this material ID, you can animate these values, you can do whatever with it. Array had as well other improvements, we have transform before projecting when using a spline distribution and local rotation is adding a progressive transform function to be able to transform objects from the first to the last. The material modifier has been updated as well, it will convert a spline to mesh when it's applied directly over a spline, allowing to send material IDs on a spline and will preserve the explicit normals when it's applied to a mesh. The normalized spline will now preserve IDs when you apply it over a spline that contains ID information. Max 2024 as well improved the triangulation algorithm. This is something transparent that will happen when you work with polys. Now we'll create less long and stretched triangles. This new algorithm is now used in edit poly modifier and will produce better geometric results on phase splitting by intersection of edges when you use the slice, the cut, the bridge, vertex extrusion, edge extrusion, on cap and using a smart extrude inside edit poly. The cap modifier as well now will use this new algorithm. 
the modifier list UI has been converted into Qt. It's now faster than ever, opening and closing is way snappier, and we have now as well a search filter. We can filter results. You can write any modifier and we'll short the result list to whatever you type. So it makes finding your modifier faster than ever. And it's maybe one of these small things that for me will make a huge impact on my day-to-day -day work. We have so many modifiers in 3ds Max. Now found, found what you're looking for, it's way, way faster than before. But we had an even bigger UI change, and it's the Material Editor. Now the Slate Material Editor is fully ported to Qt. Moving from node to node, between materials or maps, it's snappier than ever. The UI doesn't need to redraw, and all the colors that you can see has been exposed into the Customize color menu, so it's possible to personalize the look of your nodes. Now you can drag any output directly over the name without needing to precisely overlay over the input to create the connection, so it's way easier. And it's possible to finally create package compounds. This will encapsulate all the selected maps into one node. When you have a very complex material, you can simplify it, so whatever you don't need to touch can be inside this compound. Doing a double click, you can access this compound and see whatever what's happening inside. And you can save these new compounds into the material library to be used later. Or you can nest these compounds. You can have one compound inside another compound. And not to forget that now, because the material editor is Qt, it's possible to dock the material editor in any 3ds Max area. For the materials, we get a new material switcher. This material switcher allows you to switch between different materials and some materials. You can sort all these materials by ID, name, or material name. On animation, we got a new transform list controller. It allows you to add multiple transform controllers to an object and blend the animation data between them. It's giving a lot of control over how influence each layer has over each other layer. This new list is Qt based and a new index mode has been added to all list controllers to be able to isolate each animation. Motion path has been updated as well to be able to display list controllers informations. Before this was not possible, the motion path with only displaying the first transform, but, but it was not displaying anything that was inside a list controller. The motion path now also allow you to edit keys and tangents for nested list controllers. And multiple fixes for CAD and Character Studios that has been reported by users. We have a total new color management system in 3ds Max based on Osio version 2. On the new color management inside settings, you can switch from Gamma Workflow to the new Osio color management, with a lot of parameters to control. Multiple areas in 3ds Max are affected, like bitmaps importers, OSL maps, the viewport itself, the color picker now displays color information on unbounded floating point and unsigned 8 bit integer and hex web color. You will have color management options on saving your images, on render dialog, and we have even a new color converter utility that you will have it on the utilities panel. We got a huge boost in performance in the STL import and the STL checker. Now it's 1000 times faster than before, and yeah, you hear it right, 1000 times faster. And STL is now as well faster than other solutions available on other softwares. On different examples, we can see that it's more than three times faster than Blender and more than twice as fast as Maya importing the same model. For performance, the render frame windows has been updated with faster performance on panning and zooming. Now it's smoother than before. Max Script received a lot of updates with complete MXS exposure for Create Preview, for example, and a lot of changes in Max Script. But for this, it's better to check the Changso unofficial list that he creates always on his website. You will have the links below, and he covers all the changes in the 3ds Max new version, that some stuff is not even included in the 3ds Max changelog. With this new Max, you can as well download the new USD 0.4 for Max that will give you exposure to import and export with USD. This new version adds support for a skin export, and the USD stage supports multiple UV channels, added support for Alembic reference in the USD stage, and different bug fixes in USD. And finally, let's not forget that with Max, we get improvements on 
Arnold and Max 2A. This new Max 2A is a 5.6 that gives support obviously to 3ds Max 2024, gives support to Arnold 7.2, and this version gives support to the new color management system in 3ds Max, the 3ds Max compound materials, and the new 3ds Max material switcher. Arnold itself, on this new version 7.2, received improvements on the physical sky, upgraded open color IO to 2.2.1, better performance when using OSIO, that is 20% faster, it's supporting now over 1024 CPU cores, so if you have a big machine, now you can use it, a new distance shader, and improvements on light sampling with lots of lights will be way way faster. And that's only some of the new improvements in Max 2024, I think that this new version comes with a lot of cool stuff for everybody. Uh, I didn't list everything because there is more stuff, a lot of bug fixes, uh, other uh, small improvements here and there, so check the list from Chang Soeun where he covers everything. I need to thank all my patrons that allow me to do these videos. For my patrons, I have exclusive content. We will cover the Boolean modifier, some cool stuff to do with it because it's super exciting. And let me know in the comments on this video what do you like more from this 3ds Max 2024 because, as you saw, we saw a lot of new stuff. Particularly, maybe my favorite stuff is the new modifier list based on QT. I know that it's maybe a smaller compared with the Boolean, that I like it a lot, but I use so, so much the modifier list and it makes it, uh, the search the search function on the modifier list allows me to work so, so much faster. Uh, but yeah, the Boolean itself, um, it's, it's pretty cool. So yeah, let me know. So yeah, don't forget to give a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed and give a comment, commenting whatever you feel like. And uh, that's all guys, see you soon. Have a good day, bye.